I'm all about <gasps> shit. Brody, can you not right now, please? All right, ladies and gents, we're back at it with a full glam. I'm here, I'm ready. I am clearly well energized thanks to my Starbucks coffee. I am already off track. This video is off to a great start. I asked on my Instagram whether you wanted to see something more dramatic or more natural for my next tutorial, and you guys said more dramatic, so I am really just going all in. I'm doing a full glam, a full beat today. I have not worn a full face of makeup in so long. So I'd say probably four months, because it would have been at some point in September before my accident, so I just feel like I really needed to just glam myself up, go with a full colorful half cut crease kind of halo eye look. I knew I wanted to do something that was a little bit more rosy, a little bit more glam, and I knew I wanted to use this pigment. This is in Melrose. It is the Tracy Cosmetics Loose Pigments. These are amazing. Yeah, so I feel like I've just talked a lot. If you guys are interested in seeing how to get this look, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm doing today is priming. This is going to help to hold on my foundation longer. It's also going to smooth everything out. This is a Benefit Professional Primer. This is like my go-to for every day. It just gets the job done and it also smells really good. For foundation today, I'm going to be mixing together two products. I will be mixing together my It Cosmetics CC Cream as well as my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. I'm doing this to make sure that I get the right shade and I'm going to be blending this in with my JH03 brush from Morphe. This is one of my favorite foundation brushes as well as the Morphe M439. I feel like I can get my foundation put on very quickly. It blends it really nicely and it also doesn't absorb it too much product so I recommend checking those out and I also love the stands out beauty sponge those are definitely my go-to tools for applying foundation now for concealer, this seems to be my go-to concealer combo lately. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm mixing in a little bit of my L'Oreal Pro Glow Concealer. The reason I do this, once again, is for the correct color. I could just go in with the Tarte Shape Tape, and sometimes I do, but lately I haven't been going for a super, super bright under eye. I just kind of want to correct any darkness and brighten things up a little bit, but I'm not trying to do like a crazy highlighted under eye. So I'm really trying to keep the product to a minimum, and then I'm also making sure to bring that on my lid to help to prime for when I go in with shadow later. Once I have my foundation and concealer on, I'm just going around my face with a damp sponge. I'm just using this to really focus on pressing the product into the skin as well as absorbing any extra product that might just be sitting on top of the skin. Now I'm just putting on some cream bronzer. This is the Chanel cream bronzer and I'm applying it with my Sigma F84 brush. There was something on my brush because as I was applying it, there must have been black shadow or something because I got these specks all over my face. So I just went in with some extra foundation just to cover those up. I just wanted to show this step in case anything like this happens. Don't panic. You don't always have to remove your makeup. Just try and go in and correct the issues that need correcting. But with this bronzer, I'm just going and putting this around the perimeters of my face. You guys know the drill. You have seen me do this a million times. Of course, I'm going to also put on some cream blush. This stuff is so pretty. This is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Perk. I'm not sure what shade this is in, so I will leave this down below, but this is my favorite cream blush. I find that I have a lot of control over it, and I also find that it blends out really nicely, and it doesn't look patchy or anything like that, so this is my go-to. And also, I love using a cream highlighter when I am using cream products in general. I feel like it just complements everything really well. You can push the product into the skin really nicely. This this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow in the shade Perla. Now that I have all the creams on my face, that kind of sounds weird, but you guys know what I mean. I'm just going to go in with my Bye Bye Shine powder from Imani. This is just a translucent powder. I'm using this under my eyes to just set that concealer and help to add a little bit of brightness. And then once I have that on, I'm going to go in with the powder foundation as well and just put that all over my face just to set everything in general and to make sure that once I go in with bronzer and everything after this, that nothing sticks to the skin and looks patchy. I'm just putting a light layer of this all over my face because I don't really want to add any more coverage. I just want to kind of dry any parts of the skin that may still be damp from any product. Okay, now things got a little out of order for some reason. I saw my blush and put that on first without even realizing that I had not put on bronzer, but I'm just going to go on with my Sonia Castic Flamingo Blush. I love this stuff. It is so beautiful. I don't think this is still available. I got it a long time ago, but it's just my go-to because it's perfect for like an everyday blush. For bronzer today, I'm using my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced. This stuff smells so good. It is dark, so I definitely use a lighter hand in winter. It also has a little bit of a glow to it, so it just looks very beautiful on the skin. 
Now I'm just going back in with some of that Bye Bye Shine powder just under where I put my bronzer just to clean everything up. Like I said, I did kind of go in a weird order, so I just really wanted to make a nice kind of clean line in that area to make everything kind of look a little bit more sharp. Now I'm just picking up my Mary Lou highlighter by the balm and I'm putting this over where I put that ABH highlighter. You can see it's just such a beautiful combination. I feel like with a liquid highlighter underneath a powder highlighter, it just really brings it through and makes it look so beautiful. So now I'm just going to fill in my brows. I'm going to speed through this. I have a tutorial. If you guys are interested, I will link that down below, um, but I'm just going to speed through my brows and then we will move on to the eyes. Dipping into my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia and just picking up my Morphe M153 brush, I am taking the shade Love Letter and I am focusing on pushing this directly into my crease. You can use any brush you want. I just find that the tip, the dome tip of this brush really does a nice job at fitting right in my crease area. I find that I get the most pigment with this shadow when I really press it down and kind of wiggle it back and forth instead of blending it out. I feel like this just gives a nice amount of pigment. And what I'm doing is going in with the shade and taking my time to make sure that it's even built up from the inner corner to the outer corner of the crease you don't have to worry about if this gets on the lid because of course we're gonna go in and conceal that anyways and then once I have that on there I'm gonna go in with Venetian red and a smaller smudge brush and I'm doing the same thing I am packing the shade very lightly above that love letter shade what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a really beautiful blend I'm not worried about creating a harsh line in fact that's actually what I was trying to go in and do was create a little bit of a line so that I can go in with this Buon fresco shade and and I can go and blend that out. As you can see, I'm using a very light hand. I'm being very careful and using windshield wiper motions to make sure that I have a nice blend from that crease area up towards that transition area. Now I'm just taking a little bit of burnt orange because I felt like I needed a little bit of warmth in there. You guys know me. I love my warm tones. And I just put that right above that Buon Fresco shade. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Just to really blend everything out. Now for the fun part. I'm going to go in with my Morphe concealer and my M224 brush and I am going to cut my crease. This is a halo cut crease. I'm going to cut the whole crease anyways just because it's easier for me to follow it from the inner corner. It definitely took me a hot minute to find out what works best for me to cut my crease. I feel like everyone has different eye shapes so it can be hard to get it right the first time. My best advice is just practice, practice, practice and for me it helps to look down into a mirror to kind of see where my crease is. It just makes my life a whole lot easier. Now that I have concealed the lid, I'm going to go back in and reincorporate some of those shades that we used in the crease. I'm going to focus this love letter shade on the very inner corner of my eye and the very outer corner of my eye. Because this is a halo look, I want to make sure that the very center of the lid is nice and bright. I'm using a very light hand and being careful not to bring this too far into the lid and making sure that this goes right in that inner corner as well. Now I'm picking up my Tracy Cosmetics Loose Pigment in the shade Melrose. This is such a beautiful pigment. I'm all about loose pigments and glitters. I love that little extra bit of shine. This is in the shade Melrose. It is a pink with a gold undertone. I'm picking up my Morphe M421 brush and I'm going to focus on putting this right in the center of my lid and then I'm going to slightly blend it back towards that love letter shade just so that I get a nice blend. I love this pigment because I did not notice a lot of fallout on my under eye and also so it is very pigmented as you can see going back in with the love letter shade I'm smudging this up against my lash line this is going to act as a liner but also I find that it makes that pigment pop even more when you have a little bit of contrast up against your lash line now I'm going in with the shade Vermeer and I'm going to put this on my inner corner as well as my brow bone just to highlight everything and pull it together this has a pinky undertone to it so it is perfect for this look and I love a good brow bone highlight now I'm applying a quick coat of mascara. This is the IT Cosmetics Hello Lashes Mascara. I'm applying this to prep my lashes for falsies because I find they blend a lot better when I apply mascara beforehand. For lashes today, I'm using the Tracy Cosmetics Lashes in the style Butte. These are gorgeous. I love them so much. They are a new style. You guys have to get your hands on them. You already know I have a code with Tracy Cosmetics. So if you guys are interested in trying anything from them, you can use the code BRIK20 at checkout to save 20%. And that helps me out a lot. It lets them Know that you watch my videos so I'd really appreciate it that is also good for anything on their website so I'm just going to pop these lashes on now I'm picking up my morphe eyeliner in the shade dark room and I'm just going to put that on my lower waterline 
I'm going to be blending that out with that love letter shade. Clearly, this is a trend in this makeup look. I really want to focus on bringing that pink back into that lower waterline. And then once I'm happy with the pigmentation of this, I'm also going to focus on connecting it with that outer corner. But once I'm happy with the level of pigmentation with this, I'm going to go in and blend it out with that burnt orange shade by Anastasia. Once again, just to reincorporate some warmth into that lower lash line, but also just to help to blend out that pink shade so we don't have any harsh lines. I'm just finishing off my eyes by applying a quick coat of mascara to my lower lashes. And then for the lips today, I'm going to line my lips with my Morphe lip liner in the shade Backseat Love. And then over top of that, I'm going to be applying my Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Suspect. I think that's what it is. I could be making this up. I have to check, so I will have that in the description down below. But I just wanted to do more of a pinky lip to really help complement the eye color. And yes, that was my dog in the lower left-hand corner. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this completes today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I have to say I really did enjoy putting on a full face of makeup. It has been probably close to four months since I've worn a full face of makeup, so I just had to go in and do a full beat for you guys. That sounds weird, but you know what I mean. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and click that bell button so you get to see all of my uploads. Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this look, and feel free to leave some comments as well letting me know what you guys want to see from me in the future. Future. Whether it's more makeup tutorials and if that's the case then let me know kind of what you want to see What looks you want to see or if there are other videos feel free to leave some suggestions down below and help your girl out I'm pretty sure this completes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and with that being said I will see you guys in the next one